Hey, hey, let's talk today about <clears throat> emotional avoidance. Um, I see a lot of rookie coaches who, you know, say to me things like, you know, Miles, I, I, I try to be positive. I, I, you know, I do my best. I do everything I can to be positive. And my reply often to them is, well, wh why do you do that? I think a lot of rookie coaches are emotionally avoiding because, you know, if I think about the reason why I primarily got into this industry, it was because I had a lot of emotional pain and it looked to me that the coaching space could resolve it. But instead of going deep and trying to resolve it, I thought, hey, why don't I become certified and learn how to help other people? I don't need to fix myself. Let's just help other people, right? Which is a good thing because that focuses on contribution, but I wasn't truly doing the work on myself I was deflecting by focusing on other people it's a story for another day but emotional avoidance what do I mean by that well if I kind of tell you a short story um this past week I was at an event and it was th there was a lot of socializing and I got a lot of energy from that I get a lot of energy from being in social environments and one of the things it's made me realize is that I've actually been quite lonely and anybody that spoke to about this emotion of feeling lonely that isn't part of this world has immediately gone into an emotion of sympathy. And there's nothing wrong with that. And there's no, uh, and I know that their intention is really positive. But the interesting thing is, is it's made me think, I wonder why people go to sympathy when someone feels lonely. And then I thought about it and I thought, well, I think the reason is because a lot of people feel like we're not meant to feel negative emotions like we're meant to literally avoid emotions like that i remember growing up you know feeling sad was something that was to be avoided when i actually think it's one of the most healing cleansing things you know to let out tears is scientifically proven it's like a releasing of blocked emotion it can be um you know it can often be encouraged in like chakra cleansing and all that kind of stuff right so I'm feeling this emotion of loneliness. And for me, what is really key is I used to avoid emotions like that. But now, instead of avoiding, I will speak them out. And then I'll ask myself the question, OK, so I feel lonely. What do I need to do? What's the opposite of loneliness? And for me, the opposite is connected. So I go, OK, well, what do I need to do to feel more connected? And I literally came up with a list of things that I could do today, tomorrow, this week to feel more connected. Uh, you know, <clears throat> going and 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 training with a, a buddy in the gym rather than by myself, um, uh, setting up a new group, for example, uh, going to a, a, back to my co-working space, which I've not been to because I've been being on, uh, on on new dad mode again. So this video today, uh, more of a, um, of a message to, to say, the moral message is, um, I'm going to use the word don't, which is a subliminal message, means the brain doesn't process the negative, that's so funny, but I was going to say don't avoid your emotions so a better question is what emotions are you avoiding what's an emotion that you do everything you can not to feel and today spend some time thinking why do you avoid that emotion and then ask yourself maybe what would be the benefit of listening to that emotion and what would be the benefit of figuring out what message that emotion is trying to send because often avoiding is just like putting a band-aid on something that's a gaping wound that needs more than a band-aid it needs stitches right so there might be some stitches there might be some proper healing that's needed but if you're avoiding it and suppressing it it's never going to fully heal so this one helps hope this resonates with you slightly deeper context than your than usual but i hope you've enjoyed it and um that's it for today see you next time peace out